an internal attentional focus is a focus on some component of a movement. And so um, most often in the term, in the context of lifting, when you think about an internal attentional focus, it's generally like fo focusing on feeling a particular muscle working or contracting. So, you know, if you're doing bicep curls, instead of just trying to, to maximize performance on bicep curls, you're really focusing on squeezing the biceps, feeling it get a good contraction. That's an internal attentional focus versus an external attentional focus. That's a focus on the outcome of a movement. So, you know, in the case of bicep curls, you're not necessarily trying to feel your biceps get the best contraction possible. You're, you're, you have a weight in your hands and you're trying to uppercut someone as explosively as possible with it. Um, so yeah, I, I think probably the, the external cue that people in powerlifting would be the most familiar with is in bench press, just throw the bar through the ceiling. That's a, that's a classic external cue. Um, so yeah, those, those are kind of the broad differences in internal versus external attentional focus strategies. And what this meta-analysis wanted to do is look at the evidence related to the impact of internal versus external attentional focus on acute strength performance, but then also uh, changes, uh, longitudinal changes in strength and performance over time. Um, and so in terms of the acute meta-analysis, they came up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, eight studies. I, I think it was eight uh, different groups and seven studies um, looking at the impact of internal versus external attentional focus on strength performance. And they found that an external attentional focus did uh, improve strength performance relative to an internal focus which isn't surprising, that is what one would predict, uh, but it is actually good to see. And the reason I say that is um, most of the research on attentional focus isn't hyper-specific to strength outcomes. So there's a really, really broad body of research on internal versus external attentional focus on performance and acute neuromuscular outcomes, but most of it is more looking at uh, things like jump height, which is somewhat related to maximal strength performance, but then also more just kind of like fine motor skills. So, or, or I guess this would be more like gross motor skills, but like beanbag tossing. So, you know, do you focus on the, the, the like pendulum arc of your arm as you toss the beanbag, which would be an internal focus, or do you just kind of like stare at the target where you want to toss the beanbag and, and to focus on the outcome of the movement like that. Um, and so there's there's a lot of uh, just kind of like neuromuscular research looking at, at sort of like accuracy-based goals, finding that external attentional focus uh, produces better outcomes. But like I said, a lot of that isn't, isn't directly related to strength performance, but there's now enough research looking at the acute impact of internal versus external attentional focus on maximal strength performance that we can meta-analyze these studies and find that, yeah, an external attentional focus acutely enhances strength performance. Not, you know, it's not going to like double your bench press, but the pooled effect size was like 0 0.3, 0 0.4, something like that. So that's a, that's a small but notable effect. You know, we would like to assume that anything that acutely enhances performance will also chronically lead to larger performance enhancements over time. Um, but in a lot of cases, there's not great longitudinal evidence to support the ongoing usage of things that do have a positive acute impact. Uh, and in this case, you know, I, I won't say that there's, you know, 100% slam dunk evidence that an external attentional focus, uh, both improves acute performance and those improvements in acute performance necessarily lead to larger enhancements in performance long-term. Um, but the evidence does at least lean in that direction. Uh, so there's, there's strong evidence that an external attentional focus will acutely enhance performance. And I would say weak to moderate evidence that that will also lead to larger performance enhancements over time.